Pill Shattered Memories Short Game Review. This again starts with Harry Mason crashing his car in Sound Hill and his daughter Cheryl is missing from the car suddenly. So he goes off to find her and from then on out this is not the same story as the first game. There are numerous references to the first game and it does kind of make you wonder what exactly is going on and how this relates to the first game, which is really nicely done. This is a much more... it's, it's a bit of a different, different direction for the series, which I think we were all pretty ready for after, you know, stuff like Homecoming and I Hear Origins is also pretty disappointing from not taking any kind of chance, chances. This one, basically there are only enemies in the other world sequences or the nightmare sequences, which only share in common with the earlier other world that it covers everything. You know, you're, you're in an area you might already have visited, but it covers everything in some fashion. Instead of rusty steel gratings and grotesque imagery, which there's nothing of in this, it ices everything over, which is a nice, isolated, you know, unwelcome kind of atmosphere. And then you are chased by the two types of humanoid enemies, which can, you know, latch onto you, and then you have to shake them off with the Wiimote nunchuck. These sequences are all chases from point A to point B, and the fact that you basically have to run and at the same time know where you're going, the two conflict a lot. And with there being no combat, you can't do anything to these creatures other than try to run away from them, and if you're you know, in a sequence that happens to have a flare in it, you can use that to temporarily hold them off, although you cannot check the map to see where you're going while you hold a flare, so yeah. The story is the best part of the game. It really draws you in and you badly want to know what is really going on. And this is more of a psychological thriller than a you know, supernatural psychological horror than the other game, like the other games. The psychological profiling feature allows you know, basically the game is going to tailor its characterizations of the various people that you meet in, you know, based on how you answer these questions. And if you're completely honest, it's going to do a really good job, it certainly did for me, of figuring out what bothers you, what upsets you emotionally, and hit that nerve, you know, really well. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.